Cancer hasn't stopped, so neither have we. What's up, Coach Brown? You need me to help you recruit for the national championship team for Coaches vs. Cancer? I'm on it! So that's where I need you to help give me some tips, and I'm just going to ask you some questions. I'm, I'm ready. All right, sweet. When you came to Albany, you said when you're doing something good, bring someone along with you. What is your best tip on how to encourage others to come along with you in the fight against cancer? Well, I always tell my players that, you know, if, uh, if you're playing a, an individual sport, and I always say like boxing or like golf, um, sometimes you just rely on yourself. But 90% of the things you do in, the, in your life, whether it be being on a, a team, if you're playing cards, you can be on a team. If, you're, uh, if you have a family, that's a team. If you're in a community, that's a team. If you're in a job, and of course, for coaches, teams are what it's all about. You know, individual players don't win championships, teams win championships. So I always talk to my guys of no matter what you do, if you don't bring along somebody else, all you've done is taken care of yourself. And I have a favorite saying that, um, you know, sometimes parents will say to me, well, Carly's a leader by example. And I don't like that term because a leader by example means you do the right things. That's great. But you're not helping, you're not forcing somebody else to come with you. So the only way those other people learn is if they're watching. If they're not watching, they don't get better. So I always say that, you know, um, Great leaders, you know, play great. But elite le leaders make other people play great. And I think that's the same thing that you're trying to do and we're trying to do, not only with the American Cancer Society, but even our whole country now going through the coronavirus. Is this the same tip you use for recruiting players to your team? You know, when I recruit players to my team, I, I do talk a lot about uh, the family atmosphere here, that we're all in this together. It's, you know, hopefully the veteran guys help the rookie guys. Just like, I think, with the American Cancer Society, the people that have done this for years. You know, I know Jim Beheim has been unbelievable. Mark Few, you know, I've gotten very involved in it, but there's some guys that are at epic levels. Uh, you know, Lon Kruger has done some incredible things. And those guys motivate me to do better. And hopefully I motivate other people. Well, that's the same with your team. You know, I tell them that the players they're going to come in with um, are going to kind of mentor them. And so, yes, I do use it with my team and I do use it in recruiting. Sweet. Speaking of Lon Kruger, we had an interview with him yesterday. And he's, all, he's a great guy. So, um. Uh -oh. What is one thing you shouldn't do when recruiting for a winning team? Well, I, I think what, what, whenever you use the word team, what you shouldn't do is just talk about the individual. Uh, you know, we're not beating cancer with you here and me here and Lizzie here and, and Lon over here. You know, we have to connect the dots. And I think that's what I'm so proud of you and what's so cool about what you're doing is you're trying to connect a lot of dots and figure out how we can all help each other. I think that in basketball, a winning team is made up of many people, just like you said before. The players, the coaches, and of course, the support of fans. Do you think that is similar to building a winning team in the fight against cancer? You know, I really do. I think there's so many different people. Some can afford to give money. Some can afford to give time. Some, some can be uh, the voice. You know, if you get to 10 people and they each get to 10 people, pretty soon we have 100 people. Mm -hmm. You know, if those 100 people get to 10 people, we get 1,000 people. And so uh, I think, you know, you look at a team and you say, wow, you got the team and the coaches. That's only a small part. You're right. The fans at our place have won us a lot of games. We have the is on. It's been unbelievable. I'm going to send you a shirt. And, uh, and then we have the trainers and the strength coaches. And we have the, the people in marketing and everybody does their job to create what you see on TV uh, each mm -hmm. time you watch us play. And I think that's the same. American Cancer Society does their job and then it kind of filters down and all of us that add in, including you and I, 
um, we give ourselves a better chance to not only beat, but completely defeat this uh, terrible disease. I know that you do a lot to support the American Cancer Society. Why is being a part of Coaches Versus Cancer so important to you? I looked at it as I'm, I'm big on, you know, I talk to my team a lot about preventative management or crisis management. And the more preventative management you can do, the less crises you have. And so I've been very fortunate in my immediate family, you know, that, that cancer has not hit us, you know, a little bit here and there, but not much. But I know, I know the statistics. What we got to convince people of, my players, players all over, coaches all over, fans all over, is let's not let it get to the crisis time. Let's try to defeat it before it gets there if it hasn't hit you uh, personally. So we all better take light that this is one thing we could do to help make the world a better place. To get more on the fun side, what have you been doing while stuck in quarantine? I know you mentioned riding your bike and taking a walk. I heard you're a bike rider. Yes, I I have 12 miles, but what I try to do is I get on my Peloton and I try to ride that for 40 minutes. I try to get five or six miles on the bike and then I try to walk a little bit. I got a wife that's asking me to do all these honeydew things Mm -hmm. that I haven't done for five years. So I've tried to clean the attic, clean my office, clean my closet. And and now I'm just trying to find different things to do. You know, I watch TV and I figure out things I can use for my team, motivational things. Believe it or not, I promise you that when you send me this interview and some of the other coaches, it'll be something I'll play to my team. Um, I'm trying to figure out all the things I want to use to motivate my guys um, when we get back on track. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like all of us. I'm trying to stay busy. I have my down days. And when I do, I realize how lucky I am. And, uh, and that's why something like this um, puts my mind in a good place because helping others is what it's all about. So, Carly, what um, – what made you do this besides your grandmother? I mean, you're taking on a big endeavor. Uh, some of the coaches you've already got, um, not many people can get to all of us. I think it's so important for us all not trying to shy away from the coronavirus, obviously, since that's a huge thing happening in our world right now. But I think we need to also realize that other things can happen during the coronavirus, and the coronavirus can impact people who are suffering from cancer even more. Yes. And like we all say, cancer never stops. Um, And obviously right now we don't know if, when we'll get out of quarantine for the coronavirus, but cancer is still going to be here when we do get out of quarantine. So like you said, preventative, preventative management. I mean, we need to be ready for when we are going to get back out there. Cancer's still gonna be here and we need to keep fighting it even while we're stuck in quarantine. Well, you know what I like about you? You know, I have a saying to my little campers, my little eight-year-old, nine-year-old, 10-year-olds, you got to learn to listen and you got to listen to learn. And that's a line I always use. And you repeat stuff about, uh, you know, first of all, when you thought it was cool that uh, we used the, uh, the saying that I used before about dragging other people. And, and now, you know, the preventative management so you have very good ears and you listen very well and then you seem to apply it very well. So I think between the American Cancer Society and now you coming from a different angle, young kids, because that's who we got to really educate is the young kids, then they'll grow up. So I take my hat off to what you're doing. Will you join the championship team by making a donation on our link?